Some of these niggas watch you more than they watch they bitch, man. Y'all need to get a mentor, or a teacher, or some type of accountability partner, man. Yeah. <laughs> you watch another man and envy another man because you can't do what he do. If it make you mad, stop watching. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't see how somebody would hate you or hate on you. But then keep watching, nigga. Fuck, I look like pay-per-view. Nigga, but you ain't paid me yet. <laughs> Hey man, I'm just joking, man. Friends, family, co-workers of the past, future business partners, man. Y'all know what it is when a real boss or a real leader step into the room, all the snakes, all the grin, green with envy ass mofos, they stare at you, man. They always wanna know what's going on with the brilliant shining one, right? But at the end of the day, they won't, they can't do what you do. They won't put in the work like you. <laughs> Motherfuckers will see you go to the gym for a whole year, two years straight, and then they'll get mad because they the one walking around like, what do they say, uh, sloppy yogurt? <laughs> get your life in order, man. Get yourself together. Start a business and market yourself, man. Don't watch me watch TV. Feel me? I could be just like y'all dumbasses. I could be out in the street being the dope boy. Everybody want to be a dope boy or a, or a fake gangster. Does the FBI, man, the BSO know what you're doing in your house? <laughs> I can get out in the office with a whole bunch of white folks and get business done, man. Build business contracts. Build sales funnel. What can you do besides roll up a hundred million thousand blunts in the day man see i can walk into a house fresh off of work and the whole house will smell like marijuana or i can walk into my job and see cbd products and marijuana products all over the place man making money what's worse rolling up and smoking your money away or making some money man you feel me life is more than just about chasing women man these women will get you messed up. Life is more about, more than just about chasing money. Money is how you messed up. Most of these dudes chase, chase money just so they can get women. Most of these women chase men just so they can get money. So it's two chickens with their head cut off, man. All of y'all too stupid to realize what's going on, man. I can't live around a bunch of retards. I can't live in a house full of retards. I can't work in an office full of retards. That's why I get around, man. I be moving. I be shake, rattle, and rolling, man. Niggas be mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Let me just move my chess pieces off the board before y'all motherfuckers start making the wrong decisions, man. God speaks through me. If he tell me I need to move myself out of a situation, that's what it is, man. Lightning gonna strike. You know, God used you to tell me I need to move on. There's a tower moment coming to you. So again, man, whether I see you out on the street, whether I see you out at some event, a club, whatever the case may be, whether I see you out in the neighborhood, whether I see you out in the business district, God tell me to stay away from you or I need to get from around you because he about to make something happen in your life that you not going to expect. It is what it is, man. <laughs> you can't tell me that I ain't more spiritual than you. You feel me? No, I don't get up every day to put on a McDonald's or a Burger King or a KFC uni uniform. Never had to. <laughs> what? What you going to say? <laughs> Look up my social security number, man. Matter of fact, look up look up my business on sunbiz.gov. Yeah, Morningstar Consulting Services. We a year in the game now. That million dollars is on the way. Yeah, man. I feel like you needed to brush your teeth in the, in the middle of the day, man. 
That's a whole nother level of accountability. Brushing your teeth? You ever seen somebody whip out a toothbrush at work? Start brushing their teeth? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, again, I'm not the type to spend my whole lunch break, my free time, recording little subtle messages for y'all, man. If you feel like I'm sneak dissing, again, stop watching me. Hi, I hate her. Watch somebody they envious of or watch somebody they hate. That's crazy, man. And to all my loved ones, man, I know you like it when I talk crazy to these people. Because you know what? They don't have no fathers in their life. They don't have friends in their life. They don't have a strong chick to support them at the end of the day to tell them what life really is, man. If you got a woman that's around you that always, that she's bringing, she's always bringing frustration to your life. Say, for instance, you know your mom doesn't like pets, but you get with a female who acts like she likes your mom and she's bringing animals into your household. Man, what does that say about you? <laughs> what does that say about you at the end of the day, man? What type of person are you? Yeah. The house of the living dead. People are just weird like that, man. People are just strange like that. Their goals don't match up with what they say, man. You have a... Uh, see it all the time, man. Sometimes people get passed down something or they get lucky to have something. And they just squander it, man. You got uh, so many different situations in life. I don't watch family members raise their children and try to teach them something. You know, put something decent in their head that they got between their shoulders. I done seen old men taking women with children that was not his. 70 year old men making the best out of, of a decision and they leave something behind next thing you know you got a 21 year old making decisions <laughs> instead of the 70 year old that was living in that house previously like what type of sense does that make and then he bases everything off what his mom says or a mom that bases everything off what they son say karmic relationships man my mom no better than to go there with me I'm in a better position in life than her. So, you know, hey, I moved out of my mom's house when I'm 20. So all these 21-year-olds, these 27-year-olds and 33-year-olds that's still living at home with their parents, man, y'all don't even really know what life is like. Have you ever had at least a car, an apartment? Have you ever had a real relationship, but you out here trying to make real life decisions? You out here trying to dictate things, boy. God finna move and shake some shit in your life you ain't never seen before. You think you can't think straight now. You de you dealing with teenage problems, little boy. <laughs> little girl. <laughs> yeah. But time will come. Judgment is always cast down on the unrighteous, man. Karma is always lurking behind. There's no reason for me to chastise you know we can see when the proof is in the pudding man you know metaphorically you feel bad but physically we all can see this the shit that you stepped in and the footprints you leaving behind shitty foot ass little boy <laughs> I know you mad I know they mad when they can't stop me I know they mad. I know they mad, boy. Y'all bring more strangers into your house than family members. Ain't that crazy? Talking about. Boy, y'all need to go to church and get your damn brain a bath, boy. 